Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, happy September. And I just wanted to do a quick video on a haul that I did for Marshalls because as I'm aging and as we're aging, we have to switch up our moisturizer game, switch up our game when it comes to taking care of our skin. So why not experiment a little bit and see what happens when you try with different toners, different cleansers, different oils. So I'm gonna show you what I picked out and what else I've been using so far to keep my skin looking good while I'm out here in Florida. So the first thing is my face wash. I like to use the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. This is the regular version, but I also like the cream version too. If you wanna spend an extra couple bucks, you can get the um, Pink Breakthrough, but it's really the same thing, so I just, just save my money and get the regular. I've been using this since I was 10 years old and I really don't have any problem with acne. So I don't know if that's part of jeans or because I use this on a consistent basis, but definitely wash in the morning and wash before you go to bed. You wanna have a clean face before you go to sleep so your body can regenerate and your skin can look good in the morning. I'm using the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. This is the one with sunscreen, so you just pump about a dime size into your hand and moisturize your face. I use like a couple pumps, let's be clear. Um, <laughs> but the thing is with this one, you do get some kind of whiteness going on in your face because it's SPF in there, they have that so you can take care of your skin and not have to worry about putting an extra layer of sunscreen on, which is also recommended. But if you can, you might as well just get a moisturizer that has SPS already in it. This has been my best friend, Neosporin, for my skin forever. So since, what, 2006, I've been using Neosporin to prevent cuts as well as fight um, acne and pimples that might try to come up, whether they're hormones or whether it's just bad skin moments, <laughs> I definitely like to use Neosporin. And if I'm having an emergency and I have a really bad pimple coming up, I use this, which is my new secret weapon. It's essential oils, eucalyptus oil. Yeah, so um, you can get this at Walmart or any other store that sells essential oils, but basically you just get a couple dabs from, from the bottle and put it directly onto the pimple and it should erase it or get rid of it in like a day or two. You have to be consistent about it, but definitely use that. Um, and then follow up with the Neosporin once the oil dries out. Another alternative is Witch Hazel, which one of my best friends, which is a great toner. Um, to prevent discoloration and other marks on my body, because my skin is mad sensitive, I like to use cocoa butter. I got this one from the Dominican Republic when I was on vacation this year, and I'm pretty much out. This thing is straight up empty. <laughs> so I hope I can find this in the States somewhere because this was a really good, potent um, cocoa butter. It erased um, marks on my skin. If I had acne marks, if I had like body marks, it was definitely taking those away. So I would recommend that, something like cocoa butter or some vitamin E or vitamin C if you want to brighten any dark spots. So the, one of the new things that I got this summer was from a handmade shop in Chicago. Gotta give love to my Chicago people, especially my black owned businesses. This is by Nude Acacia and this is the Golden Gleam Shimmer Body Butter and it smells amazing. I wish there was smell of vision so you can smell this, but look at the inside. It's very glittery and it does give your skin a nice shimmer for the season. I don't know if you can tell on my arm, but <laughs> but anyway, but if you put it on and then go out in the daytime and let that sunlight hit your skin, you will look fantastic and you'll smell good too. So they have natural ingredients in there. And like I said, it's made in Chicago, sent with love. So you can find them on Etsy or on Instagram, Nude Acacia. Yeah, and then, checking out before I get to the new stuff in this haul is um, this Ollie undeniable beauty hair skin and nails vitamins so i am all out as you can see because i tried them every day for the month of august and um i don't know y'all my nails are brittle anyway but i did see some growth um <laughs> i guess it improved the nails my hair's got a little better but i don't know if that's because my hair is just growing or because of hormones so I have to like try this again and see if it's because of the vitamins or is it because of 
the natural growth process of our hair, skin, and nails. So my skin looks nice. I don't know if that if that affected it either. So I have to give it another try. But these gummies, yeah, these gummies taste really good. <laughs> it's hard. It took a long time for me to like not want to try more than one because I definitely wanted to eat more than the recommended serving, which is two. You're supposed to take two little gummies a day. So um, try not to do that so you don't miss your, your days. But um, be on top of your vitamins, people. So if you want to improve the look of your hair, skin, and nails, I would recommend it. Why not give it a shot and see what happens. Um, also, be sure to check out the nutritional facts so you can see how much um, vitamins you're putting into your body, especially when it comes to what's needed for your hair, skin, and nails, like biotin and vitamin E. All right, on to the new stuff. I went to Marshalls, like I said, and I got three new items that I can't wait to try, including this Hello Spring. It says collagen infused hydrating lip mask. So these were $2.99 at Marshalls. Amen for Marshalls with the beauty products. They had the most random beauty products <laughs> in that store. And I never really got into it until the last year or so. But these are collagen infused lip masks. And so basically you just leave them on your face, on your face, on your lips for about 15 minutes. And it's supposed to improve the softness and add some hydration to those labios. So yeah, there you go, the mask. I'm gonna try it out, see what happens. Cause I don't like having chap looking lips. I don't like having dry lips. So the box looks cute. As I was reading on this side and that's what got my attention. I'm like, oh, let me open this box and see what's in here. So I haven't smelled it yet, but like I said, this is cactus moisturizing toner. And so what you, it, and it's vegan for the vegan folks out there, which is awesome. Uh, needs to say it's moisturizing cactus toner combined with a cleansing function, which I thought was really cool. So after a day like today, wearing makeup, being out in the sun, sweating, getting dirt all over my face, I think it's necessary to use a toner like this after I wash my face with my regular face wash. So basically you use your face wash and you just, you know, wipe your face gently with the toner. And uh, that's about it. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one, I think out of all three, because I love me a good toner. Definitely wanna keep my skin moisturized and looking good all year long, not just during the summer. And last but not least, we have a new face mist. This is Hemp Plus Facial Mist, Hemp Seed Oil and Coconut. Now you see that little weed logo, you're like, oh girl, you got weed in your stuff. I'm like, yeah, it's hemp though. Um, it's $3.99 at Marshalls, and the hemp is supposed to calm your skin, right? It's not like THC, which gets you high. This is probably like related to CBD. It's supposed to calm you down or relax you, or whatever hemp's supposed to do. But it shows you here on the bottle, it contains high levels of essential fatty acids and vitamin D and E to leave your skin feeling moisturized and radiant all day long. Just like this video is kind of long, so let me wrap this up. But yeah, I smelled this in the store and I thought it was really cool. Like, yum, it smells great. So I'm gonna try this, you know, after I use my face wash, after I use my toner, I'm gonna try the face mist, especially before I go to bed so I can breathe in and relax and get a nice sleep session in. So, so those were my new items that I picked out. Plus I showed you some of my favorite skin products that I'm using right now. We have to be on top of our game, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you're over 30, we're starting to age, we're starting to feel stuff change in our bodies, right? So we have to switch up how we treat our skin. Self-care is important. This is an organ. All the skin on your body is considered an organ. Why not treat it right by using the right products? So if one product doesn't work for you, try another one, but don't give up and don't use regular body soap on your face. You wanna use a quality face wash and then follow up with moisturizing afterwards because keeping your skin moisturized keeps you looking younger and feeling fresher and you feel better after that. Okay, so if you have any questions about skincare or any suggestions that you're using, feel free to drop them in the comments. I wanna see what you're using. I wanna know what you're using, what's working for you. And if you let me know, maybe I'll try it out myself and give you my own review. 
But uh, yeah, the next thing I need to do for my skin is find a new foundation because honey child, this one is a little too pale for my new tan Florida skin. So that's another video and another topic for another day. But I hope you enjoy this video and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. This is Tatiana Green and you're watching Journey Through 30, Southside to Self Love.